Hi, my name is John Maxwell. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell. And in front of me are uh, 500 of the people that are in our certified training program. They're learning to be coaches, speakers, equippers. And this is our third day together. And we are just learning, growing, having a great time. And uh, they, they want to greet all of our Minute with Maxwell people, too. Just let them know how much fun you're having, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, the, the applause and all the waving took so long. I, I hope you enjoyed Minute with Maxwell today. <laughs> <laughs> really, no, and then I have right beside me the Keller Williams people. Uh, I have the opportunity to be with Keller Williams a lot. Uh, it's a phenomenal company. I do their national conference about every year, uh, every other year in Austin. I'm going to be with you. And when, when, when am I going to be with you? September. In September, I'm going to be uh, uh, with them. And um, and they just really love leadership. And they love they, it, Keller Williams has a, just a great culture of training leaders. And, and so we have 17 of them here that are being trained to be coaches. And Rick kind of leads this group and is a, a wonderful friend too. And, and Rick, what's our uh, word for the day, buddy? Win-win. Oh, win-win. It's the only way I know how to play. <laughs> you see, when I was younger, I, I thought that the object of life was to win and someone else loses. But what I found is that when I win and you lose, and we do it again and I win and you lose, and we do it again and I win and you lose, we don't do it again. <laughs> You see, there comes a time, always, that if you win and the other person doesn't, the relationship's gone. And I learned a long time ago, if you have an abundance mindset, you can win-win. In fact, I don't really want to come to the table if you don't win. Let me illustrate it. My daughter, Elizabeth, when she grew up, we had a tradition on Thanksgiving. Oh, I've always cut the turkey and done the whole process, and I would find the wishbone. And I would dry it out, and late on that evening, I would get Eli, her name's Elizabeth, we call her Eli. I'd get Sissy, and I'd say, honey, it's time for us to do the father-daughter wishbone. And, and so we, it would be dry at that time, and I would have looked at it well enough to know which side was the weaker. And so every year, she would win. And she'd look at me and say, oh, Daddy, I, I won again. And I'd say, oh, you did, honey. You, you won again. And then I'd look at her and I'd say, and I want you always to win. I always want you to win in life. And she's talked about that. She'll come back to me now as an adult and she'll say, Dad, I could always tell that you wanted me to win. Well, of course, I'm a father, daughter. Of course, you, every father would want their daughter to win. But it goes beyond that. I think that all relationships are based on win-win. And I'm not really interested in a relationship that I win and you lose, or I'm not really interested in one that where you win and I lose. <laughs> so don't think I'm a wonderful guy. I don't want to lose either. You understand? <laughs> but I do want to win and uh, with the coaching organization and what we're doing. Would you not agree on Minute with Maxwell? When you are on the John Maxwell team and you are a certified coach, would you agree it's win-win? Yes. Thank you very much.